Hello and welcome to the video. This is a very quick video about this stuff here. And I'm laughing because I've just had the question from a Patreon and I get it about once every month or so uh, because you'll see this blue stuff in loads of different videos. It's kind of malleable and it kind of sticks stuff together. So, you know, if I kind of want to stick things to the table or whatever, then I can absolutely do it. It's used in the UK to kind of stick posters to walls and things like that. Um, but I find that having a blob of this, and this is my latest blob, I'm recording this in early January, when we take all of the Christmas cards down, uh, we tend to stick them to one of the doors in the lounge, it's just how we do it. But when all those come down, it all gets consolidated black back into one blob, and this becomes my new blob for the year, because by the end of the year, it's full of bits of plastic and bits of solder and everything else. Now I use this a lot and you'll have seen it in other videos to hold things like PCBs and things into place while I'm doing soldering because I can just stick it onto the desk and then I can kind of whatever I'm soldering can be kind of stuck onto it and it will just hold it into place and I can do my soldering move things around and although it gets a little bit warm uh, but to actually clean it off all you do is you just kind of dab it on the pieces that's left on whatever PCB you've got and it comes away really clean this stuff is called blue tack made by Bostic here in the UK. I think it has other names in other countries. I'll put a link down below to the Amazon link, so if you want to get some, you can. Uh, but this is incredibly handy. If you are running out of hands for a soldering job, or you're trying to keep something in a particular place while you're trying to set something up, or even to kind of make sure that two things don't touch. So for example, you know, if I'm powering something on the bench and there's a positive and negative wire from something like the bench power supply I'll kind of connect them and put them each side or something like this because it's a little physical barrier it's non-conductive and it just kind of makes sure that those can't accidentally bounce into each other if I'm moving an antenna or something on the table. If you haven't got a blob of this on your desk, I would recommend if you're regularly modeling, get your hands on some of this. Most of you will know what it is, but at least now I have a video to point you towards the next time I get that question. This is Blue Tack. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Painless 360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.